Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. This is a distinctively Southern European-feeling stadium, a venue right on the banks of the river. And having a look at the lineups here, it looks very much, Jim, like a 5-4-1. Well, it's an attempt, Peter, to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there. If they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages, then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession and can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest. It all depends on keeping their goal intact, so they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end. So we're up and running. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Jan Oblak. He's not someone you often see pulling off spectacular saves, but that's about the highest compliment you can give a goalkeeper because it speaks to his positioning and his organisational abilities. He's just about the best there is when it comes to, to claiming crosses and high balls into the box too. And is just the kind of presence that spreads a, a composure and a confidence to his defence and throughout the team. I'm thinking the same, he will be a central feature, no doubt. And here's the chance to counter. Drives it towards the front. It's being played forward. Choose between them early on. Not many chances yet. Forward it goes. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Hoists it forward. Knocks it away. Defenders on the back foot. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and... Uh... He's gone for it! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Just to locate someone up front. And it's played forward. It's one! into a dangerous position and he's made sure that that won't get through goes direct to the front line oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger quick ball forward cottage dashing forward at pace looks to bypass the midfield the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Pinged forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Come back to the keeper. That's been drilled forward. Out to the right. 
Great run on the overlap here. Chance to shoot. A chance to play it in. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Still back on the first 45 minutes. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Well, the action has already resumed here. Nil nil then, and we're back on the way. And it's played forward. It's going to be another throw. And that's sprayed out wide. Keeper's ball. Up towards the front line. Done very well to intervene. Forward pass. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Lovely feet. So who's he picking out? Played back in. He's had that. Ilicic! Back of the net! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Slovenia get themselves into the lead. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? Forward it goes. And they win it back again. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, good interception. impression so far Jim well at the moment their chances of getting back in contention look slim they're not exerting enough pressure simple as that is there any support he might not need it regardless of the outcome it is good to see someone running at the defense like that well positioned to make that interception Chip through. Kortic is there, and he can get that clear. Slovenia can make their change now with uh, a break in play. 
Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. And he's there to clear it. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Finds himself eased off the ball. Looking to hit the front line. And that's been leave it clear. It's come loose. And the shot! Oh, that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Hoists it forward. That has been cleared. So that's it, it is all over. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. Look, I think a draw might have been a much fairer result today. It's just that one crucial...